Technology is rapidly changing and it's important for us in the avionics industry to keep up with those technological changes. Well, avionics has always been a leader in automation. The next big wave is going to be really leveraging artificial intelligence to move to autonomy. And it's going to do some great things. First and foremost, it's really going to provide tools to really augment the decision making for pilots. In many use cases, it may make them optional. Just the amount of information that is available on platforms today and how you use that information, how we can make that information accessible to the pilots is going to be critical for us going forward. Avionics manufacturers and aircraft manufacturers in general have always had to juggle the pressure of lower acquisition cost and lifetime cost with the demand for more performance and features. They've got to think about how to minimize rework. How do you think about system design such that you can reuse components on a go-forward basis? Many of these new capabilities and new technologies require additional processing power. And this is really where the multi-core processors come into play, where you can add a multiplier of processing capability within the existing or smaller footprint of those legacy platforms. Multi-core processors allow you to bring more capability in the system because it lets you do more with less. Integrated modular avionics allows us to run multiple applications within a single hardware platform. And multi-core processors can enhance that ability by giving us more processing capability to run those multiple applications on. And what that enables our customers to do is to take these legacy federated systems, whether it be processing cards or processing boxes, and combine those into fewer card sets or fewer overall boxes ultimately saving them acquisition and life cycle support costs. Most of us that have personal computers, uh, almost all of them in the last maybe five or even 10 years have been built with uh, multi-core processors. The avionics industry has been slower to adopt the use of multi-core due to concerns of certification complexity as well as predictable performance. Safety is gonna become even more critical than it is today. So how do you ensure that you design certification into the process such that you lower the overall cost of cert and you lower the time it takes to get through certification authorities? Part of the issue with bringing multi-core processing to this industry has been understanding the complexities of the multi-core devices. There's been very little guidance provided by the certification agencies on how to, how to do that. In the avionics industry, the, uh, the primary information coming from certification authorities regarding multi-core is in the form of a CAS 32A paper published by the uh, FAA. And that paper provides objectives that indicate what needs to be done, but there isn't guidance in that paper that describes how those objectives should be met. You could view that positively or negatively. The positive view is it provides a lot of degrees of freedom in terms of optimizing systems but still complying to certification. The other side of that though is it provides a lot of gray area. And depending on who the people are involved in the process, it could add a lot of cost and could add a lot of time to the process. It really takes a coordinated approach across the hardware that you use, the RTOS that you use, uh, the platform software, the application software, the system integration, all of those have to work together to work through each of those compliance areas of the CAS 32A and ensure that you have a safe and deterministic solution. The CERT authorities, not only in avionics but across industries, are really challenged right now with kind of the next generation technologies and how to certify them. I'm hopeful that the advent of multi-core is going to get people working together and really collaborating on looking at new ways to attack this problem. This is something that hasn't been done before in industry, and we're learning along the way. We've been working hand in hand with the certification agencies to make sure that they understand the solution that we have. If you don't establish a clear plan early in the project and you start executing the program, you may find well into the program that you're headed down a path that your certification authority will not agree with. And the fact that we're going through certification with the FAA gives us confidence that we have a solution that is going to be adopted across industry. The future of avionics is really bright. Leveraging new technologies like multi-core is really going to help people address affordability, and that's one of the biggest challenges right now. But on the horizon is what's really exciting, really using things like artificial intelligence to 
drive from automation to autonomy and really changing the whole flight experience, both for pilots and for passengers. The first multi-core certification in the world is going to change the way customers look at multi-core. It's going to give them confidence that they have a solution that is going to, to work for them as well. And I think that we're going to see people follow suit in uh, adopting the multi-core solution.